Hi Grizzlies, I'm Amber Miller, a 2014 graduate of Grassfield High School and a current Virginia Tech Hokie, and I have participated in Laps for Lymphoma for five years. Hi Grizzlies, my name is Sammy Vincenis, and I just graduated from Grassfield this past June, um, which is still really weird to say out loud. Oh my gosh. Hey Grassfield, my name is Emily Hoder, and I graduated in 2011. I currently attend grad school at James Madison University. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Calvin Hong, and I'm a 2015 graduate of Grassfield High School. I currently attend Virginia Tech and I participated in last year in lymphoma for all the four years that I was there. Hey Grassfield, my name is Meredith Hamlet and I graduated in 2010. I currently work for the Old Dominion Athletic Foundation as their donor relations manager. Hey Grizzlies, I'm Katrina Vidal, alumni from the first graduating class in 2008. My brother Jordan Miller created Laps for Lymphoma when it hit our community hard and a little bit closer to home than we expected when my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 lymphoma. It was important to me, as a member of the SCA, to participate and organize this event for our principal, Ms. Bernard, who had just lost her husband to this disease, and a Grassfield friend and classmate's dad had just been diagnosed with lymphoma. I participated in LAPS because of one of my best friends, Jordan Miller. He graduated in 2011 with me, and we had SCA together during our high school years. LAPS for lymphoma has had such a lasting impression on myself and my family. I've been fortunate enough to participate in the event several times and it has always blown me away with the amount of support and participation you guys are able to rally from the community. It's so special that um, Grassfield chose Laps for Lymphoma to be our big service event of the year because a lot of uh, former Grizzlies have been affected by lymphoma. Being a part of the first annual Laps for Lymphoma makes me extremely proud to see how much Grassfield has done to create awareness for this deadly disease. I encourage you to join the Walk for a Cure because I want everyone to experience the feeling of such a positive impact you can individually make for your community. So going to LAPS and seeing the love that everyone shows is more than inspiring. I challenge current Grizzly students to engage in meaningful service that brings the community together for the greater good. We have the opportunity to find a cure. So I really invite you to commit to a cure and walk on April 23rd, 2016. Join the Grizzly spirit of giving back to the community because as an alum, I can truly say that um, Grassfield is such a special place. As an alumni, it has made me tremendously proud to see our vision of creating a strong sense of community led by our school pride come to life. I am and always will be proud to be a Grizzly that is a part of this legacy, and I invite you to commit to a cure and walk on April 23rd. Because with determination, hard work, and love, nothing is impossible. the day I'll rise up in spite of the age I will rise a thousand times again and we'll rise up I like the waves we'll rise up in spite of the age we'll rise up and we'll do it a thousand times again you Hey, I'm Chris Foltz, a 2015 Grassfield graduate, and I currently go to the Air Force Academy at Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I have the honor and privilege of introducing my mom, Becca Voltz. I can't explain how lucky I am to have her as a mom. Throughout my life, she's always put others, especially my siblings and me, before herself. She encouraged me to push myself into becoming the person that I am today. But laps for lymphoma has always reminded me of how lucky I am to have her today. On March 9th, 2005, my mom was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. I watched the woman I knew and loved battle through this deadly cancer. And the whole time, she wasn't worried for herself, but for others. She made every effort to make sure that my life was unaffected. She wore a wig and fought through everything that the disease threw at her. I'm blessed to say that she came through stronger than ever. She's a profound effect on me, and I wish I could be there today to introduce my hero and cancer survivor, Miss Becca Voltz. Thanks for everything, Mom.